Hello, uh, my name is Soldier Clicker, and today I wanted to do something a bit different. So as you can see, this is a, actually a new map on Game Banana called uh, Zombie Escape Ronald. So this map was created by a guy called 2554, and he has a few other maps that he's also released in this, this past month, but we'll get into that a little bit later. This map was based off Lefarian's map, Pizza Time, with the inspiration taken from the extreme mode of San Extreme, hence the black and blinding screen. Well, there are a few issues we found when playing this map, mainly that it doesn't actually have two levels, uh, a normal level, and then when you beat the second level, there's actually a trigger you can press from a TP above spawn to get to the, the hard mode or the extreme mode where you can't see anywhere. But there's actually a sort of a small box behind spawn where players can run into it and accidentally trigger it, which is what happened here in this playthrough. So players haven't actually played the map normally yet, so they don't know where they're going or what they're doing. Uh, and yet we're already playing a, a restriction, restricted vision version. So they're having a, a fun time, as most servers do when they play a, a confusing map. So I was going to use this opportunity to talk about 2554's two other maps that he's done. He's also done uh, Zombie Escape 2554 and also uh, Japan's third bombing, uh, which is a, it's quite an interesting map. It's what I'd sort of... Uh, view as a sequel to Best Career 2 certainly has those very racisty vibes, but contrasts them with uh, light-hearted gameplay and uh, and a fast-flowing map. So uh, I'd equally enjoy maps. So if you get the chance to play those, I would recommend giving them both a shot. But onto the more map at hand. So basically, at the spawn, you're gonna have a bunch of five paths, and it will want to try and connect to one of two gates. Uh, this gate that I'm about to reach is the most common to get to and there'll be a 40 second and a 30 second timer in each respectively when you get to them. In a second here I'm just going to cut like the, the 30 seconds of waiting. Uh, and So when you get to the gates opening, um, another reference of Santa, the truth here, you'll actually see the uh, stick figure boss uh, just in front of us. And if you do actually hug the left hand side, you will actually trigger that and it actually goes ham killing absolutely everyone. So it's very important you go right hand side, but then you do want to come back around and, and jump down here. So this part for me was really, really awkward uh, because uh, because I had played with this map and and it was had seen it built. I knew that there was a there's like a there's like a passage down here. It's like a it's like a, a beam running across. But because of the the restricted vision, I couldn't actually see it. So I'm just trying to shoot randomly, trying to connect those bullets so I can try and see where the thing is. But it's not until a zombie actually connects with my humans that I'm actually pressured to make the jump, and I happen to very likely connect with the. Uh, with the pillar below. But it's very easy to see how confusing this map would be to a newish team. And there are probably some revision changes that could be done uh, in order to, to better gameplay. Uh, but also in the same sense, it's a, a meme map for what it's worth. And um, it's having people see the map without blindness would probably be uh, a good substitute for, for the restricted vision later on. So when you get through the springs part, you're gonna find a cannon to the final stage of the map where once you trigger it will have an 80 second trigger at the door before then one more holds you get tp to the safe room so as you can see here when i trigger the door for 80 seconds uh, i'm not going to be able to hold it all by myself i think zombies get tp'd around 40 seconds with everyone else and so you'll see in a second here i just get overwhelmed by the remaining zombies for our first time playing it it was an interesting experience seeing how everyone else reacted to a project that I had been directly involved in from a, a map critiquing perspective. And also it's interesting to see how when giving advice on making a new map, what actually players want to see more often than not, people just want to be entertained. So providing that this map continues to be an enjoyment to muck around and have some fun with mates, whether it becomes a serious or a chill map, I fully recommend anyone from the CSGO mapping community or CSS to open up Hammer give it a go and, and have a good time. Thank you for watching this weird ranty video on a map which I had a great time being involved in and I will catch you in the next one. Peace. What the f